Our journey to Misco Vejao starts out with a drive into Guatemala's rugged central highlands, some 60 miles north of modern-day Guatemala City. The drive into the mountains takes us about three hours, and the return trip took us only two hours by taking a different route. Both routes are going to take you through a handful of small mountain villages. Don't mind the occasional roadblocks that you may encounter along the way. They are usually just redirecting traffic to a nearby village that is having a fair or some other local event. Travel between mountain villages takes many forms, but finding a ride never seems to be an issue in this part of the world. The roads are narrow up here, and rush hour traffic jams can be a problem. If you have ever wondered what happens to the old school buses from the U.S., well, they usually end up down here in Latin America. Well, we finally arrived at the archaeological ruins of Misco Vejao. Originally, the city had its main entrance on the western side, and today a modern road has now been cut through to the ruins on the west along a similar route. This city was founded on its defensive mountaintop location in the 12th century AD, and had a peak population in the early 16th century of around 10,000 people. The ruins are strung out over a one kilometer area along a high ridge 2,890 feet above sea level and approximately four kilometers from a point where the Pacaya River flows into the Montague River. The ruins are surrounded by deep ravines dropping off sharply into a tributary of the Pacaya River. When the Spanish arrived here in 1525, this was one of the largest highland cities with nine temples, two ball courts, and a population of around 9,000. Though the Spanish cavalry and their Mexican allies eventually defeated the Pokemon forces, the city remained impenetrable until a secret cave entrance was revealed by a captured Mayan prisoner. This allowed the Spanish to enter the city virtually unopposed and to unleash a massacre of its inhabitants. There is an admission fee of about 5 quetzales for Guatemalans, and 50 quetzales, or about 6 US dollars, for foreigners. Walking around the whole park will take about two hours, and I recommend bringing along a lunch you will not regret sitting under one of the large shade trees and taking in the outstanding scenery. <laughs>